Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone DS351 external RAID hard drive storage. What's included with the external hard drive enclosure is a user's manual, installation CD, five serial ATA data power cables, one external serial ATA cable, an external serial ATA PCI card, a power supply cable, cable ties, and screws. At first glance, this looks like a home theater PC case. Of course it isn't, but it's best suited in a home theater PC environment because of its appearance and dimension. It comes in a black color and is constructed from aluminum, which looks amazing. The front bezel is constructed from 5 millimeter brushed aluminum, and there's an LED display which shows the temperatures of the hard drives via included thermal sensors. If the optional fans are installed, fan activity is also shown in this display. There's also an overheat sensor and an alarm will sound if any hard drives get too hot. Here's the power button, a recessed reset button, power LED, and five hard drive activity LEDs. On the left side and the right side are ventilation holes. At the top is a heat sink. This heat sink is where the hard drives are installed and it protrudes through the top panel to dissipate the heat in order to keep the hard drives cool. At the back they include a quiet, high efficiency 300 watt power supply, an external serial ATA port, and two optional 80 millimeter fans can be installed. I would recommend installing these two optional 80 millimeter fans if you live in a hot environment. This will ensure that the hard drives remain cool. Inside is a large heat sink which four three and a half inch serial ATA hard drives can be installed into. Two are installed at the top and two at the bottom. Another hard drive can be installed here. This is the RAID controller where all the serial ATA hard drive connections are made. The board also has a green hard drive activity LED and red power LED. There are also red LEDs for each functioning hard drive connected to the controller. At the bottom are four rubber feet. These soft rubber feet have excellent anti-vibration properties and won't scratch the surface. Now have a listen to how quiet it is. It's virtually silent because the only fan is the one in the power supply. Now let me go through the installation of the hard drives and RAID setup. First take off the top cover, remove the hard drive heatsink cage, install the hard drives, two can be installed at the top and two at the bottom, attach the thermal sensors and mount the hard drive heatsink cage back into place. Depending on your configuration, keep as many hard drives as possible in the hard drive heatsink cage for best cooling. If you have a RAID setup that requires five hard drives, you will need to install one hard drive at the back. Do so by removing the hard drive brackets, mount the brackets on the hard drive, attach the thermal sensor, and screw it back into place. Now attach the serial ATA power cables to all the hard drives, connect them into the power supply, and RAID controller board. Next connect the optional 80 millimeter fans if necessary and install the top cover. Attach the power supply cord and turn the power supply switch to the on position. Finally, attach the external serial ATA cable to the external hard drive enclosure into either the motherboard's external serial ATA connection or use the included external serial ATA card. Once all the hardware is installed, turn the unit on, install the latest RAID driver and RAID management software. The RAID management software will determine the hard drives installed, making it easy to configure to the preferred RAID setup. The RAID controller supports RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, and RAID 5. Remember, 
to also partition and format the drive. There are many inexpensive external hard drive enclosures on the market, but there are very few that can do RAID 5 and RAID 10. And if your data is important to you, and in most cases it is, then I would recommend going for a product like this, especially if it's in a home theater PC environment, because it will give you the security of knowing that your data is going to be safe. Believe me, if you lose all your precious moments, and important data, you're going to have one terrible day. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time. Take care. I would recommend installing these two optional 82, 82, 80 man. It's not a 92 millimeter, it's an 80 millimeter. Which four extra, well, damn, can't speak, losing mind, cannot speak, blah, blah, blah. It's virtually silent because on the label of this can't find power button, you do not want to lose it. To lose it. To lose it, baby. Don't lose it your data. And that's important because if your data is important, then it's going to really be important. Yeah. And a setup like this will do that. A RAID 5 configuration. Configuration.